In this series, we're going to have a look at the Ableton Operator Synth, but we're going to try and keep it fairly general and look more at the concepts behind synthesis itself. So we're going to have a look at additive, subtractive, and FM, or frequency modulation synthesis, because they're the three main types that the Operator Synth uses. But a lot of the concepts will actually be able to be applied to other synths as well. So I'm going to keep it fairly general in that respect. But obviously the focus will be on the operator interface and how to program these different synthesis techniques using that. So in this video I'm just going to give a quick overview of the interface and we're also going to have a quick look at the Spectrum plugin because we're going to rely on that fairly heavily throughout the series. So to begin with I'm going to double click on the device browser icon here. And the reason I double clicked is to make sure that all these folders are closed when it first opens. If you just single click on that icon then it will open to the last location that was used so as each of these folders has a number of different instruments or effects or so on and each of them has their own subfolders then you can end up with a quite long chain and if you're wanting to find say an audio effect and you're way down deep in the instrument presets then you've kind of got to navigate all the way back up the quickest way to get back to the top is to just double click that icon so I'm just going to drag in the top instance of Operator to a MIDI track. Now I could also double click on that. And if a MIDI track selected, it will just uh, replace whatever instrument is there or it will add it to an empty MIDI track. Or if you have an audio track selected and double click on a MIDI instrument, then it will create a new track for that instrument. You can also drag straight from the browser to either the empty space here or to a MIDI track or you can drag straight to the instrument like that. Now you can see that this can be opened and there's a number of different presets here so you could choose the presets and you can do the same, you can double click on them. But as I said we're going to start with the basic simple initial preset which is just a straight sine wave. Now I'm going to go into the audio effects folder and scroll down to the Spectrum plugin, and I'm just going to drag that in after the operator. And that'll basically give us an overview of what's actually going on. It will show us in the frequency domain the volumes and the frequencies of the different sounds that are playing. We can open that up by pressing this little triangle here, and it gives a much wider view. And I'm actually playing these notes with my computer keyboard. You can enable the computer MIDI keyboard with this little icon or this button up here. So just a quick overview of the operator interface itself. It's basically separated into tabs or shells and the uh, parameter view in here. So on the left side we can select any one of these tabs or shells. These are the oscillators themselves, so each one of these is what generates the sound. You can see at the moment the level is turned up just on this one here. So that means we're only listening to this one oscillator at the moment. Now as you turn, either of these oscillators become active as well. Depending on whether we're set up for FM synthesis or subtractive or additive synthesis decides how that works, but we'll look at that later on. Over on the right side, we have the LFO shell here, and that brings the LFO controls in the middle here. The filter shell, same, it brings the filter controls. And you can see we have the option of choosing either the filter envelope or the filter itself. That allows us to control these filter controls to the right here with this circle here, and actually see the shape of the filter. In fact, the oscillator view, I should mention, also has these two buttons. So we can either look at the oscillator view or envelope view. And the pitch envelope, or the pitch shell, uh, allows us to see the pitch envelope and also the auxiliary envelope, which is directly related to the pitch envelope. We'll come back to that again. And this is the global shell, where we can find everything that affects the entire synth at once, such as the global volume control, which will turn the whole thing up or down rather than the individual oscillators level controls. And this parameter view in the middle here can be hidden with this little arrow. So if you've set it to the way you want, you only want access to any of these more immediate controls, then you can 
hide that to save it a little bit of space. But throughout this series, we're going to leave it open because we want to see what's going on in here.